Trippy Red has announced that there's gonna be a surprise project dropping for us this Friday. He's back after I'd say about a two month hiatus, posting again on social media, previewing new music and songs. It's been very interesting to see Trippy plot his comeback as he's been back home in Ohio, working on this new music, having a new era with his hair color and that mask. And it's clear that Trippy is, is trying to make this comeback and everything with the way that he released that SoundCloud mixtape for us a couple weeks ago with the leak one. And for whatever reason, if you haven't heard that, that's over on SoundCloud and it's over 20 songs long. A couple of them will be officially released on this track list for the EP which we're about to dive into right now. Now as of me making this video, Trippy hasn't officially posted what the cover art's going to be or the official name of the EP. Right now we're just calling it the surprise EP. We know it's seven songs and the first song on the track list is going to be the song Pray For Us. AP, two tone. I was outside with that chrome. Which this is one that I've wanted the most actually out of all the recent snippets we've got from Trippy. He previewed this a few months ago. At this point, it's kind of like a drill song. I don't know. There's just something about it that's so catchy. Although his energy isn't even that crazy on this song, I still kind of like the performance he was going for. And this one should have a music video. As we know, Trippy and his guys were out uh, once again in Ohio filming this music video. So hopefully that comes out on Friday as well. And the next song after that is another one I'm very interested in, 7 a.m in Ohio. Obviously on his Drake shit, you know, Drake does the timestamp song, so I'm interested to see what Trippy does on this. I want more lyrical stuff from Trippy. I like the piano intro we got. We don't have too, too much of this song. That song could end up being really crazy. You guys know I love my lyrical Trippy, so I hope he dives into that bag. And one thing I wanted Trippy to improve on was his lyrics. I want him to dive even deeper uh, into stories and, and things going on in his life and everything so the, you know, the audience has more of a connection to him and his music. The song like this, I hope he steps up to the plate and, and talks his shit about everything going on. Next after that, we got the Yo Pierre Slime song. I told Berettis. I'm in which is one of the newest snippets uh, with that Pierre beat. Trippy did end up performing it, and this song could be really dangerous. I find this fairly catchy. Uh, Pierre apparently charged this boy 120k for the beat, and I hope it's worth it. I hope that the rest of the song is insane, and I just think this is a W for Pierre as well, who's someone who has kind of needed that boost back in uh, to working with you know big mainstream artists and everything like that again. I think this is a cool collaboration, and I think that a lot of people are gonna look at this song and. And, and this trippy project differently because he has notable producers like Pierre on it and so I think that could turn out to be really really cool next after that no pun intended with what I just said but the next song is gonna be okay cool okay cool this was one released on that leak uh, SoundCloud project. Honestly, I haven't listened to that leak project too, too much outside of the next song, uh, Van Cleef Island, which is just another insane song and was also very upbeat and happy and fun. And that was like by far my favorite on that leak project and really the only one I've been consistently bumping. But I'm glad he chose some of the best songs from that leak project to go ahead and officially release alongside some snippets that were grails for us fans. Next after that is one previewed last night, 1716 Osage. Again, very excited to hear, uh, you know, what this is going to turn out to be. And I'm not going to dive too deep into the snippet since I know it's probably going to be dropping now. Like I said, this EP is a great idea. And I just am excited to see how all these songs turn out. And then we will uh, finally officially get Pepe Lit released. She will spark blood and get high like me. Which I think this song has been leaked for a long time. I don't think I've heard the full leak. Um, this does have a snippet. It sounds very digital video game like. I just wanted to say before I end off this video, this is exactly what Trippy Red needs to do. I told you I need this guy to lock in and he did. He went to Ohio. He went back home. He got a new house and a new place to record in. A new area for his... I'm a, I'm a creative person too. I, I understand being surrounded in a creative area and an environment like that. And I feel like he's making the music that people want again and it's almost like he had a, a loss of identity slightly this year i've just seen the rain of hate just pour down uh and i really want what's best for trippy and what's best for his career and everything and i think stuff like this is it i don't want to see garbage features i get the industry connections and friends but there's so many times where features like lil baby have ruined uh, trippy red songs for us and there's so many other examples i'm glad that there's no features on this project we're getting grails we're getting a couple different styles of music and it's a short project as well i'd rather 
rather take a short project EP like this than a 25 song long album and that goes for like any artist. This could be Trippy's best project of 2023 and I'm a huge A Love Letter to You 5 fan. I've defended that project a ton. Same thing with Mansion Music. I still bump stuff off that all the time. I think it's still solid but I'm very excited to see how this project uh, turns out and will it be Trippy's best project of the year? It is quite possible. I'm so excited he's dropping music like this and like I said this is exactly what he needs to do. So I can't wait for Friday. Friday is absolutely stacked for new music but make sure you guys comment down below what song you're most excited for on Friday and of course I'll be reacting to it over on the second channel. More videos coming soon. I have a Twitter, Instagram. Go check me out there. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of the video and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.